could see all the way down there and you could see track all the way down that straight. It's pretty good for keeping out the trains that are coming straight through. So. Hi everyone, Reese's Trains. Today you find me here in Scotland. I'm in Edinburgh and specifically I'm at Edinburgh Park. Just seeing a tram go by. And I'm going for a little walk um, between Edinburgh Gateway and Edinburgh Park areas. And I thought on the way um, to Edinburgh Park, when we get there, we're going to watch some trains. And we'll see what trains call and pass through the station when we get there shortly. So at the moment, just having a little walk uh, by myself um, around the um, Edinburgh Park estate before heading over to Waverley. It is raining a little bit, but thankfully it's not raining too much. So let's go for a walk over and we'll see what there is. There's the tram link and here's the hotel I stayed in. And let's head around to the station. Right, so I think I believe there's gonna be a train passing in about two minutes from now. Hold on, adjusting the camera accordingly. So while we're waiting, let's have a look at Edinburgh Park Station. So there are two platforms. You've got a footbridge between two platforms. You have got ticket barriers, so you do need your tickets in order to get through them and access the platforms. You've got some waiting areas, the overhead wires, you've got the older display screens behind me. You've got ScotRail call here, and I believe it's ScotRail only that call. You do get trains such as the Caledonian Sleeper and LNER that do pass through. But other than that, that's about it. So, without further ado, let's get some train action underway. Series two, Okay, we've got a train incoming. Three, three, four, oh, oh, one. It's class three, three, four. And it's paired with three, three, four, oh, three, six. Just right here. 385 right over there in the distance, about to pass. Oh, this one's leaving. Please stand for the other platform, Mitch. Fast stream Fair 385s, likely for Glasgow, Queen Street or Central, one of the two. Probably Queen Street. Okay, we've got another train that's going to pass in a moment. Okay, we have got another 385. One, two, three. And 102. Go straight for Edinburgh Waverley. Flipping out, they pass by quick. It caused quite a bit of turbulence. Let's you know when the train's arriving as well as the main announcements when the next train is. Something that Northern doesn't do is it only announces when the next train is going to be. We have got 334008. I think 334.18 as well, I'll check that. There it goes, this set of 334s for Helensburg Central. And I was right, it was 018. Just guessed by the side numbers, the carriage numbers, but there it goes. Another thing I'll point out with this station is you could see all the way down there and you could see track all the way down that straight. It's pretty good for keeping out for trains that are coming straight through. So very useful here at Edinburgh Park. Okay, we've got a 385 coming in. The trouble is, we've got a train passing the other way, so it's a feel I'm going to get bold here. Yeah, I see a train coming in the distance. Let's see what we've got here right quick. Yeah, 385009. Thank you. About to pass in a second. 
Flipping act. 385 went through there. Not best shot because obviously this train's in the way. There goes this 385 for Edinburgh Waverley. I will point out, they sound exactly like an IET. There goes that 385 for Edinburgh Waverley. Got train passing. Three eight five. One nine. Right, we're wrapping up shortly. So I'm going to be getting the 8050 stop rail so to get back to Edinburgh Waverley to get into Waverley Station. Training coming. Platform two is the 1847 service to Dunley. This train is for dog six carriages. Going by Sterling. 385. 004. And. And 020 as well. Running slightly behind schedule. There goes his pair of 385s. Three eight fives. And that's now headed for Dumblane via Sterling. And my train is just arriving as we speak. We've got 334 026. And we've got 334. Oh, five, 5 but we'll get in this unit. Let's board. Well, unfortunately, we've got a 3 plus 2 seating, which makes it cramped walking through the carriage. Oh dear, the window alignment is not the best on these trains. Look at this. You can, if you, the trouble is, if it's going one way, you're going to be thrown against a pillar, which is so annoying. Um, yeah, this is a Class 334 Juniper, or I call Jupiter. Well, I'm not going to spoil it for a future video, but I'm already not a big fan of these trains. I mean, they're okay, but I'm not a massive fan, but I'll spoil that for another video, so. But hey, that's been Trains at Edinburgh Park, and have a look around the Edinburgh Park area for a little bit. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.